We're about to hit it, girl. Oh! It just does this from all of the songs. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back. Yes, is back. And I better came than with ever. Snacks. Sna more the snacks. snacks. We're doing Mexican snacks part two. So what do we have today? What are the goods that we got Girl, going on? We have all the goods. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I just fell. Um, <laughs> I just fell. We had a little dance off. Okay, we were dancing just with La Chona, El Sonidito. It was, it was a thing, so we just wanted to like warm up, really get our- We really wanted to get our- mm, Our really Mexican mm, juices flowing, <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, we came back with snacks. If you're Mexican, honey, you already know. You already know everything that we got going on. I mean, <laughs> Mexican children, if you're watching, you know what this is. You never finish it, but you know what it is. I used to all- Dude, let's start with this one because you know what? I used to always tell my mom, Mom, I want one of those today. I promise I'll finish it. Did I finish it? Nope. Just took the candy off of it because it had little candies on it. Just take the candy off of it. And then she'd be like, I thought you were going to finish it. And then I'd be like, mm, I'll finish it later. And then never. But every time I saw it at the store, the packaging just looks so cute. You know? It is cute. As a kid, you just want to like have it. But when you think about it, eating this person, that's pretty scary, right? Like, why would you be eating a child? Yeah. And then me eating the child. Here, you can open it up. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> so here, so here, let me let me show you guys what we have going on. Cause she might be a little bit confused. This is what it was supposed to look like, and this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like when you get those popsicles um, from the ice cream man, and <laughs> then it looks like it's supposed to be SpongeBob, but it looks like SpongeBob had some kind of like a <laughs> like a mental breakdown <laughs> or something. But, um, I'm literally crying because it's so true. It's true. The ice cream trucks get you like every the time. Eyes literally like the, the eyes are literally like down here. Well, this is, we, you know, mm. he's a little... Uh, I see that. It, the coloring is off too. Yeah, it absolutely doesn't look like this guy. <laughs> Hell, it doesn't look like that guy. But anyway, so when I would get them, I would just eat these. So you could taste those. Just... Yeah, pop, just pop it, it off. looks like it's almost winking because one of the eyes is slightly smaller than the other. This one is a lot smaller than this it's one. Winking at it's you. winking. It's winking at all of our rock stars. Absolutely. Yes. Rock, rock stars, stars, we got it. Mm -hmm. We got it we on got wink. You, honey. We got it on wink. Mm. It's just like a candy. Yeah, it's a candy. Taste it. So taste this. Yeah, I, I love like marshmallows. Ever since I was a kid, I could never finish mm. it because this was way too much for me, you know? So mm -hmm. I would take like three bites out of the head, eat mm. the candies, and then that was that for me. This reminds me of this chocolate that I used to get at the gas station next to my skating rink. It was called um, Rocky Roads. And it was, I feel it's like, like a chocolate covered marshmallow, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I used to get yeah. it at the it still gas exists. station. Yeah, it still yeah. exists. Yeah. 11 out of 10. Amazing. <laughs> and then me, we're already doing we're off really to a great good, start. guys. Yes. Paleta Payaso. Mm. Your turn. Paleta, payaso. Paleta. 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 <laughs> and then me, paleta. Paleta. Yeah, paleta, payaso. Paleta, payasa. What's payaso. paleta? Paleta means... What's paleta? No, it's paleta. But what is paleta? That's not anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Paleta. <coughs> paleta, <coughs> payaso. Payaso means clown. <coughs> mm. And then me while she's dying. <coughs> and then me the paleta payaso. The paleta payaso. And then me who did it? The paleta payaso. <laughs> paleta payaso. So now we have another one of my absolute favorites. I absolutely love this and I never understood Ooh. why my mom liked it so much and then I grew a little bit older to like 12 <laughs> and then I loved it. I don't know. So it's called an oblea. These are the things that the priest gives you. So these are like holy, like sacred. I mean, I guess not when you get it at the Mexican store, only with the priest gives it to you. I'm gonna give you the baby one because... So this comes in like a set. Yeah, it comes in a set. It's a set. It's like, mom, baby. baby. You can get these by themselves, and I actually really like them by themselves, but you can also get it with caramel on the inside, and although it looks a little bit like... <laughs> like, I know what it is. It's okay to eat, you know? Maybe if you saw it at the store, you would be like, whoa, is that okay? No, it's because the caramel is actually really blending into the oblea. It's really like marinated in there. I know you're gonna like it, dude. It's so good. 
Well, you could have ate a bite of it, but you know. Yeah, that's good too. <laughs> no! What? That's absolutely insane. I feel like it tastes like coffee and caramel mixed together. So the inside is called cajeta, mm -hmm. which is, it's like caramel, I guess. And then me, sometimes I can't find the correlation between Spanish products and English <laughs> products. I don't know. It's called cajeta. You know what? It honestly has such an interesting texture. It's then, like, oh my God, I thought you just ate a hair, but it was on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's just eating it too. But it was like, it was your side hair. Oh my God. That, and I was like, whoa, that was a thing. But what were you saying about my favorite snack? <laughs> God, that was such a thing. I literally thought you were just munching on your hair. It was like sticking out of your face, but it was actually like a hair on the side. <laughs> whoa. I hate eating hair. It's so disgusting. What was your face like? I was like, mm. <laughs> Like one of my eyes was like, <laughs> it was a thing. Have you ever ate hair and then, okay, this is so nasty, you guys, honestly. And if you say that you haven't done it, you're a freaking liar because I know you have. Especially if you're a girl and you have long hair. If you're a guy and you ate a long hair, that's weird. <laughs> but like, and you like pull it out, no? Yeah. With food? Yeah. Ugh, it's gross. Hell and ass, but it's better than swallowing it and then you feel it in your throat and you're like. <laughs> and there's a hair in my throat, you know? Yeah. Amazing. Okay, continue. Um. Honestly, the more that I eat it, the more it's growing on me, and I'm gonna have to give it like an eight out of 10 because it's, still it's pretty there. High. It's still, it's pretty still high. getting there. It's, it's still getting me going a little bit. Like yeah. if this was there, I would probably eat it. If yeah. there was between this and masapan, I would probably go for the masapan yes, because yes, I yes. love masapan. Mm -hmm. But if this was there, I would eat it. Well, it would make sense because if this is there in the masapan, you can have the masapan and I'll have this one. Perfect. Perfect. And then High five. Woo! Amazing. <laughs> We're gonna go on to El Super Leon. Coconut candy, very Mexican style. Love it. Okay, yes, we love it. It's okay. cute. That's cute, right? It's really cute. Smell it. Mmm. Okay, I here. love Get into coconut. it, girl. Get into it, girl. Mm. Yeah? Oh my god. Because I love coconut. Anything mm -hmm. coconut, I will love. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. I have forgotten what that tastes like, dude. Mmm. I haven't ate that in so long. It's so good. This one, is my what would you describe favorite. it to? I mean, <laughs> compare it to. Oh, compare? Yeah, and I mean, what would you describe? I was gonna it? describe it. Okay, describe it. Very rich. This right? is like a, a coconut waterfall of flavor into your mouth, and you're diving off of the waterfall and just splashing into a pool of like coconutty goodness, and it's like creamy, and your bathing suit's also white. <laughs> Super coconut, super commercial. We love super it. Super commercial. You could eat the whole thing, you think, or no? I mean, we're not gonna make you eat the whole thing and then me challenge, challenge, <laughs> challenge. No, but could you, you think? Like if you tried? If I hadn't eaten other sweet stuff already. If I hadn't eaten? Our grammar is just amazing today, obviously. And then me, don't roast um, us. It's a video, <laughs> it's all in good fun. What do you give this one? 15 out of 10. 15 out of 10, we love it. Yes, yes. we accept yes. you into the Mexican culture again. Again, girl. Okay, so now we have these. Have you tasted these before? Mm -mm. Have you seen them before? No. Amazing. Okay, so these right here are cacahuates endulzados. Like, I don't really know what they are. Garapiñados. Cacahuates garapiñados. These remind me of being on the border. So when you, like, cross over, there's, like, tons of people in Mexico selling stuff. So mm -hmm. they're like selling snacks, candies, necklaces, all kinds of stuff. If you want to get souvenirs, they'll mm -hmm. probably have some too. And this is one of the candies that they always have. It's oh, this actually, is like candy. Well, it's a peanut with candy. Oh. Um, so it specifically reminds me of like being, sitting there like in the car, being bored, and then you like see all that going down. I've never tasted other peanuts that taste sweet like these. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my God, they're so good. Like, really? I, yeah, I love these. I love these. Really? I feel like, yeah, I love these because I feel like it's the perfect. I know you wouldn't think. Mm. I feel like it's the perfect. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. I knew she was going to love them. Because it's like the perfect like it's the combination. Perfect the perfect mix. Because mm -hmm. it's not too sweet because you also have the mm -hmm. balance of the peanut. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Are they not so delicious? No, they're really good. This seems like the type of thing that you could take to the movie theater. Yeah, you have to hide it though, because I don't think they would just like let you take it in. <laughs> honey, go to the Dollar Tree, go to the 99 cent store, and then we, this just became a hack video, honey. Um, go to the 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, all of those snacks that you can get at the movies for $22 per box, you can actually get at the 99 cent store just for one. One time I snuck in McChickens into the movies. 
It's meld. I snuck in a whole pizza, a full one. A pizza? How? <laughs> I had a tote bag, and I put them in Ziplocs. I brought Ziplocs with me to Whole Foods to buy a pizza, put the pizzas in separate Ziplocs, and then put all of them in a tote bag. And then me. You heard it straight from the source. <laughs> I mean, life you, hacks. If you want to take a pizza in there, all you have to do is Ziplocs. Ziplocs. It gets a little messy, I will admit. <laughs> But it's worth it, because then you get a full pizza. Seriously, popcorn these days, like $37. <laughs> it's honestly such a thing, like how? <laughs> and then me, how much are these chips? 92 please. <laughs> and then me, okay, well, what about these peanuts? 73 <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can I at least have a water? Yeah, 24 <laughs> Jesus. I'm just going to hope I don't starve. Thanks. <laughs> I don't hey. feel good. Oh my god, is it too much? It's a lot. Yeah, for it's me. a lot. Cause you don't know how healthy I've been eating. Yeah. No, I know. Oh yeah, you do yeah, know actually. Yeah, you know. And then me. <laughs> and then me. I was there. <laughs> this is what happens when you eat healthy and then you eat junk though. Like yeah. you feel so bad. So I don't recommend you eating healthy. It's a thing. <laughs> You see what I did there? What is next? I'm getting excited because these are so good. Honestly, that yeah. coconut one was like, no. Okay. That was next level. Mm. <laughs> this one right here, girl, you're not ready for. It. And it's a little thought out, just like how I personally like them. These are called, can you guess what they're called? I mean, they look like Otter Pops, honestly. Absolutely not. <laughs> these are called bolis. I've been asking around the office here, and they were like, yeah, it's called bolis. Why? I have no idea why. It doesn't say on the packaging any, well, it doesn't have any packaging, but when you so get So this is how you buy it? No, you buy it in a pack, and then you oh. smell it, and it smells fruity before you freeze it. Well, it doesn't smell oh. now, but when you, when you buy it in the pack, and you smell into the pack, and it smells sweet. I'm not gonna lie. They're kind of melting, okay? I mean, we tried. We tried. The freezers here are not that strong. Why? I don't know, because they're freezers, and I think all freezers should work the same. But the ones here, obviously, are not. But uh, personally, I like to, when I get them, they're like really cold, obviously frozen. I like to get like a big cup and then put water in it and put it in there to thaw because my favorite is like when it's like juicy and you kind of get like ice like oh, this. Oh, so like it's this. So, amazing. so we're yeah. getting like the good we're stuff. We're getting the good stuff. Maybe a little bit more melted, but we're going to work on it. But also, what I used to do or what everybody does with the boli is you freeze it and then you snap in half. Like, let me show you the motion. We're not going to do it right now because otherwise, obviously, it's going to like <laughs> burst everywhere. But snap! Like it's a thing. You snap, like it's it's a motion. Like you have to go with it. Here. And then you bend and snap. Bend and snap. And bend and snap. snap. We can't do that now. We just have to twist the top. But do you want this one or the red one that I want blue? The blue. Okay, the red one's I'll do the here. green one. But okay. So I feel like they all kind of taste the same. To really? Be yeah. But they're called bolis. Say boli. 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 Yeah, I don't, like I said, I have no, if anybody knows why they're called bolis, please let me know down below because I have no idea. Wait, the how packaging. do you open it? You oh, there you go. <gasps> oh, it dripped all over me. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> so, it's just enough. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So it's my favorite, like this, like I said, this is a little bit watery, but these are my favorite when they're like this, because you just like, on a hot summer day, all the kids be running around yes. the block with their bolis, girl, okay? Mmm, <laughs> I already finished mine. I mean, round two. <laughs> Extremely addictive. Even like, I, how many would you eat in one day? I don't eat sweets, but at this day and time, maybe like two weeks ago, I was editing eight five in the city. <laughs> What do we have next? Next, we are going to do ruffles. Ooh, you know what I'm, I'm noticing? That I feel like this time you try to get more sweet stuff because you know I'd like yeah, it, and yeah, yeah. I tried to get more salty oh, stuff yeah. because I knew you would so like it. So we got a little th more things that are yeah. more like, mm, mm, mm. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay, so these are ruffles, but these are not cheese ruffles. These are queso. Ruffles, and this is my hair being really nice. <laughs> and then me, I'm using. Thank you so much. Where did you even get these? Like, how I've never even seen these or heard of them. Okay, so I got them at a store called La Esperanza, the Faith. When I think about the English <laughs> translation, it's really weird. But anyways, it's called La Esperanza, and then me, La Esperanza, and I used to always go there with my grandpa. It was a thing. Even the packaging is in Spanish. 
Oh my god. Try to read it, girl. Ya llegó. Ya llegó. Dile. When it's too old. Hola, Rafael. Ruffles. 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 So, no, in Spanish they're called Ruffles. And then we Ruffles. 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 Yeah, that's funny, right? So it's like Let's do it. And they're so good. Have you tasted the cheese mm. ones before, though? No, I've actually never really been. Well, a then big you're about to taste the person. first queso, the best, because mm. it doesn't taste like cheese. Like the queso ones are better. It has more of like a lime mm. taste. It has more like a lime taste mm. to it, as opposed to the Ruffles cheese wow. ones are like cheese, and this one has like a hint of like lime because mm. we like chile and limon. Wow. Aren't they so good? Yeah. Mm. Really good. Like, I'm honestly not even that big of a chip person, but these are good. They're good, Like, right? I would try to eat these again. Mm -hmm. People hook these up with um, limon and tapatio. Mm. Wait, oh my god. Roxanne, Arisa, how do you know what tapatio is? No. <laughs> Where is it? Do we have it? She doesn't know what tapatio is. Do you know what Valentina is? No, if you don't know what tapatio is, she doesn't know what I know what is. Cholula sauce Who is. Who doesn't know what tapatio is, Roxette? Oh my God. We put that on everything. everything. I thought that was tahini. Everything. Do you want to make out with somebody? You put ta tapatio on their lips first, if you're Mexican. I'm just kidding. But it's like, a th you guys get it, it's a thing. You put it on this, it's like a red hot sauce. Oh my God, Next, the next time, you guys, the next time, I'm so sorry that, oh, I'm so sorry that I haven't showed you this stuff before. Um, next time, you guys, we're gonna show her tapatio and Valentina. <laughs> when anything like doesn't taste good, if you put tapatio on it, better. Mm. Better, makes everything better. But honestly, that was already good. Like, I feel like that was like, that was a good 12 out of 10 for me. The, um, Okay, yes, we like it. We're really hitting not, it. She's not a big like chip I'm not person. a big chip person or so like salty huge. food, so that's big. This is huge. Okay, so let's move on to something sweet. You guys know about these. Well, Assorted not you, the, cookies. The, the Mexican audience or the Hispanic <laughs> audience. And then, well, I'm saying Mexican because I feel like most people where I'm from are Mexican, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, and the store that I got it at is Mexican, and all the stores that I've seen mm -hmm. it at are Mexican or food for less. Um, so it's like assorted <laughs> cookies, and it's called La Moderna. And you guys know these. Like, when you go to, like, little, like, family gatherings, people <gasps> will take these. Oh, my God, I, I lit. Oh, my God, I love how it's like a little snack pack. Like, this is for you, this is for me. Yeah, so these are the little types of things that you eat with cafecito. Uh -huh. Do you know what cafecito is? Coffee, coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, so you just open it up. You know what I love is these. Yeah, these are my favorite. You know, when I was like younger, mm -hmm. they smell so good, dude. They honestly smell <laughs> dude, so good. Dude, you know what's so, so funny is that when I was younger, I would open the box and only eat this one and this one because it was the only fun ones. The, only, the other ones were grandpa ones. Like, <laughs> you know, like, ugh, like who wants those like coffee ones? Mm. I would go in for those. Mm. So anytime that there was one of those box of cookies at my grandma's mm. house, at my aunt's house, anywhere, those were missing. These right here, which are like the vanilla ones. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then me, okay, mm. fine, I'm gonna okay. taste it now. I, I honestly haven't had this in ages. It tastes better when you dip it into something, dude. And it gets like a little soggy. Soggy. When you eat it and then you drink hot. Mm -hmm. mm, really good. It's just, that reminds me of like my childhood. This is another one of those like coffee things and everybody knows about these cookies and I feel like I took them for granted when I was younger because they were always there. But like galletas Maria. When I told my dad we were doing this video, I told him I got galletas Maria and he was like, oh my God, I forgot about those. Like, really? Yeah, like because it's just one of those things that like, I don't know, like, I feel like we kind of take them for granted. You take it for granted. Like, I, my grandma used to always have these, but since she always had them, I was kind of like, oh, why can't she get something new? You know yeah. what I mean? And then me thinking of my grandma, always getting emotional. But okay, so these are like super popular to eat with your cafecito, mm -hmm. with your tea. Anyway, we're gonna open it up and it's really good. Look at, smell it. Oh my God, nothing oh smells like. Oh my God. Nothing smells like galletas Maria. Oh my God. Aren't they so that good? That could literally be like a perfume. Yeah, it right? It smells so good. Oh my God, it could be a perfume. It really could and be a me. perfume. And then me, the next Justin Bieber perfume yes. right there. Mmm, oh my God, okay. I wish we could open it neatly, but. Oh, so it's just like a little thing. Yeah, it's just a little cookie. Mmm, mmm. You know what, honestly, this weirdly reminds me of my grandma too, but it doesn't make sense because I've never had these before. <laughs> but it's just that, I know what you're saying. It's like one of those foods that like your family has around. <laughs> Don't get sad, oh my God. <laughs> 
And then me literally got emotional. Literally reminded me of my grandma. <laughs> oh. I haven't had these since like her house. Oh. And then me, do we still look cute? <laughs> Are we good? We're good? Okay. So these re really remind me of my grandma's house. Obviously I get really like, I don't know. I guess I just hadn't tasted them yeah. since like being at her house and they used to literally mm. always be at her house. Honestly, taste and smells really <coughs> like, really does like bring it back. Yeah, you can like really bring it back. But what did you think? Is it good? I like it. I mean, honestly, this does really remind me, even though I've never tasted this before, this reminds me of something that your grandma or like your family will always have around. Yeah. And same thing, it's kind of like, mm. Yeah, it kind of like brings back that yeah. like, oh uh, yeah. Honestly, if you guys have ever tasted, <laughs> honestly, if you guys have ever tasted the Maria cookies, then it's very like grandma y. It's very, very like mommy. It's very, very like, like comforting. Like if you had a bad day, you could be like, do you want the Maria's camisa? <laughs> I really took it with me and ran with it and just tried to keep it and going. And you made it, girl. Yes, honey, you made it. Ew, this is literally goat and cow milk. You just ruined it. I can't believe that's goat. I hate goat stuff. Same. Bitch. <laughs> Wait, okay. It says vaca y cabra. Do you know what a chupacabras is? No. Oh my God. That was like the boogeyman in Spanish. The, Mex the Hispanic boogeyman. The chupacabras. It's like, it translates to like goat sucker. <laughs> I know it sounds so what? weird, but supposedly it would go to all the animals and like suck them dry of their blood and like eat them. And I legit thought he was real. <laughs> I legit, my mom used to be like, if you go over there, the chupacabra is going to be there. The next ones are called Boo Boo Loo Boo. Boo Boo Loo Boo. We have styles that are obviously kind of similar. And then me, you guys are not tricking me. I see you guys. What are y'all doing around here? So the chocolate's probably different, but this is from the brand Ricolino. And these are especially popular in Mexico. It kind of low-key looks like the that <clears throat> character in South Park. Oh my God, it does. It really does. Me, this is Mr. Wait, Hanky. pull it up, show them. Actually, Doppelgangers. Actually, Twins. Boo Boo Loo Boo. <laughs> Long lost sisters. <laughs> I know it's a guy, but they're sisters. Um, let's try it out then, yeah? Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Uh, this is like my childhood. Mm, it's so mm, crazy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not my childhood, it? but I feel it. <laughs> and then me. Yeah? <laughs> and then me. I thought you never tasted this before. <laughs> I like that you can taste a little bit of everything. You can taste the chocolate, you can taste the marshmallow, mm. and you can taste the jelly. Yeah, there's like a pink jelly filling. Yes. So right Love after, it. we are going Love to it. compare. What do you rate that one? 15 out of 10. Amazing. Okay, so this one is called the Rocco, and um, it went through some shit in my bag. <laughs> uh, when it was in my bag, it got a little scuffled, a little um, smashed up, if you would. But you know what? He's here now. <laughs> he doesn't look so good, but you know what? He's here. He made it. So is this the same? It doesn't look like it, a marshmallow. So it doesn't look, look oh, I don't just taste it. It's a little broken. Mm. Mm. It's like a mm. cookie marshmallow. Mm. It is a different taste. Mm. You know what this smells like? The Too Faced Peach Pellet. Oh my God, why? <laughs> it, it really does smell like the Too Faced Peach Pellet. We really like that stuff, mm. it's amazing. That's what I'm wearing today. Mm. It's so good, right? Oh my God. And for the mm. first time ever, 16 out of 10. <laughs> What? I've never had a 16 out of 10. <laughs> a little bit deformed, but you know what, honey? Rocco came through. Rocco came through. Well, now we're gonna move on to mini mantecadas. Mm -hmm. Mantequilla is butter. Okay. So these are very like- Mini butters. Butter. <laughs> well, mini, kinda, but kinda, kinda, but not really. But like buttery, mm -hmm. buttery muffins. Oh my God, honestly, wow. wow. Oh my God. Mm. Aren't they amazing? Are they not amazing? Dude? 17 out of 10. Whoa. We are just ranking it up, man. We are just going up, up, up. <laughs> what was that? I'm so glad I'm already engaged because <laughs> nobody would want me after that. And then me. All the way up. And then us all the way up. I actually have seen these at 7-Elevens. You um, have? 
Oh yeah, because yeah. they're like <clears throat> popping now. <laughs> you should probably try these out. I'm just gonna say that. They're so bomb, so go to 7-Eleven. Mm. Hopefully they have it at your 7-Eleven, because <coughs> they had it at the local one yeah. near our house. This one is called Roles de Canela con Pasas. Personally, I'm not a huge raisin fan, but this has Ooh, raisins I like raisins. in it. Mm. Maybe you'll like this. I so like this raisins, is, I like cinnamon. This is also something that you would have with your coffee in the morning. Yes. Doesn't it just look nice? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Oh. Mmm. This is like a different type of like, ow. <laughs> like a different type of bread. Like it just like pieces apart. Like it's, it's very like, kind of, mm. Mm. yeah, like, like whatever you were doing. These this are, is like my top favorite now. Seven top favorite. 10. So good. Please try them out if you have never tried them. 7-Eleven has them. I've seen them at 7-Eleven. Um, and then this is like close second. Um, what and else did I love? One. The Rocos. Oh, the Rocco. Yeah. And then also I surprisingly like these, yeah. which I didn't expect to because I'm not a big chip person. They, also, I really like these. They have those that very, they're really good. Also, I really liked this. She really liked the Coco. Yes, honey. Also this, also this. So pretty much everything. She loved everything. Amazing. And I mean, what can we say? Like, what, what, can, what can we say with our really amazing snacks? I mean, you guys already know. What did we really expect? Give us a big thumbs up if you liked this video and if you want to see even more. Yes. I mean, we could, we could try to keep rolling with this. Girl, you know? there's so you much You really food. like to do it. There's a lot of food in the world. We're ready. We're ready to take it on for you guys. You know what I'm trying to say? So mm -hmm. if you like this video, go ahead and check out the video that we filmed on Yes's channel trying uh, Japanese snacks part two. It was a really good one. It was a really good it one. It was a yeah, really yeah. good one. And she and I like, liked, almost loved everything. Yeah. Also let oh, us yeah. know what you guys want to see us yes. like try. Like, cause I know we have a lot of stuff, but there might be specific stuff that you guys want her to try. Like conchas, I have to bring conchas on next time. Maybe we'll do like a bakery mm -hmm. video Ooh. or something where we go to <gasps> that like a bakery. That could be a thing. A paleteria, that could you be guys. A thing. Okay. We'll, I don't know. You guys We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.